Nuclear weapons can cause absolute devastation. As one person famously said, you can't put a number on the amount of devastation it causes. When the two bombs, Little Boy and Fat Man, were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they caused in total between 80,000 to 140,000 deaths. However, today, our bombs are much, much stronger. Dropping an atomic bomb on a city center would not kill hundreds of thousands of people. It would kill millions, two or three or maybe even four million people. And each of these people has their own family, their own life. The devastation can't be counted. What would happen if Russia dropped a bomb on Manhattan? where the atomic bomb was born. If Russia dropped, say, a Tsar Bomba on Manhattan, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested, which had a 50 megaton yield, it would completely annihilate half of Manhattan in its fireball, completely vaporizing anything that was in that one to two kilometer radius. Then, slightly farther away, people's skin would be catching on fire, their clothing burning to scraps as they do too. The breeze would also be the main enemy of many people who are not affected by the heat of the blast. People getting crushed and injured by debris would be a huge factor too. And not to mention that anyone in a 60 kilometer radius, even people in southern New Jersey, would get third degree burns from the bomb being dropped in Manhattan. It's true. And the fallout, the fallout, which would kill millions more people than the 7.5 million killed in the initial impact, would spread much farther. In totality, nuclear weapons don't make the world more safe by ensuring big powers never attack each other. In a way, it makes the world less safe, especially now that people are hungry of acquiring more of it and start threatening to go to war with each other.